the vintage coin app restorations in one of our latest projects. Uh, if you've been following us on YouTube or uh, my Facebook page, you've noticed that uh, we've come across uh, quite a few uh, automatons and uh, having a lot of fun doing these. Um, this one is really neat. Uh, it's an English automaton. Uh, I believe it's got uh, seven movements. Uh, really eight when you think about it, and I'll go over those with you in a minute. But uh, it's a combination of a lot of things here. Um, let's take a look at his head. Boy, does he look realistic. Um, we have lips that do move up and down, see his teeth. Glass eyes that will move left and right, and I'm sure his head moves left to right. His arms are going to go up and down. I'm not sure about his legs, though um, you can see, I believe the leg was actually carved out of a giant piece of cork and then probably paper mache over. His outfit, however, is original and it has been probably just eaten by moths or something. It is uh, all wool and uh, I don't think it's salvageable. There's just too much too much uh, deterioration to it. We'll come around the back side. Really nice. He's got tails on. Someone at one point or another, as you can see, it is paper mache. They taped, it, taped them back together, and you can see all the, the piano wires coming out of the back here. And these would all do the movements for the mannequin. He sits on a little chair. But what makes all this happen is uh, the transmission. And that's what we have here. Uh, like I said, it's a, at a minimum a seven, seven uh, cam, so seven movements, but sometimes some of these movements are combined with you know, other uh, parts of it, so you might get more than you know, our seven movements. Uh, like uh, when he lifts his arm, his body might turn, so it goes from seven to eight. Uh, we will not know that until I get this thing completely um, put together and see what happens. But as you can see, this is a transmission that will be hooked up to a motor. Uh, and depending on the size of the motor and the speed of the motor would control what kind of, uh, how fast the movements for the mannequin are. Obviously you can see that it was once in something and it is missing now in the cabinet of some sort. But uh, plan is to put him in a cabinet, just like this one. Boy, that one's tall, though I do have it on um, on some casters. Uh, our little guy would be in sitting inside here and uh, doing his movements, uh, like to get it coin operated. But one of the neatest things about this, not only does he do all his movements, let's say his eyes are going to move left to right, mouth up and down, head left and right, arms up and down. There's one other cool thing about it. If you look, there's a little bit of a spout there. What he is drinking is his tawny port. And what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna actually pour a liquid into this cup. And as he lifts up, obviously you'll see there's a little hose the hose returns back and fills up, the, up the, the beer bottle again. So it's, it will take it, pour his drink into the cup, and then he'll bring the cup up like he's drinking it. And by the time it gets up to his face, all the liquid will be gone. Just so you can see that down there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that was a cold here. But uh, what an incredible piece. Uh, very happy to get this in the shop and uh, just stay tuned and watch this uh, little guy come back to life. It's going to be some time, there will be a lot of videos on this one. Um, as you can see, he is uh, he's in great shape, but when we're done with him, he'll look spectacular. Well, there you have it. If you're interested in this particular one, it will be for sale. Uh, if you have one and you'd like to sell it, please give us a call. If you have one that and you would like it restored or you have any automatons that are available, please give us a call. 
Uh, we're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching. So this is not the cabinet that uh, this little guy is going to actually be in, but we are going to make another one identical to it that will fit him perfectly inside. Right now, uh, he fits in there, but his left arm, I believe, is kind of going into the glass panel. So we're going to do it a little bit wider so we can keep him in the center and have enough room on the left and right side for his full motion. And maybe... Uh, maybe raise this rail a little bit so his eyesight is not in right in his head. So we'll probably bring him down a little bit. But uh, definitely a, a beautiful way to present him. There you have it.